Well, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we'll be talking about Topaz. Or more specifically, I want to talk about how Topaz was in this kind of weird situation when she first released. When she kind of wasn't as desirable when she first released compared to now when her rerun coming and legit a lot of people are going for she now. So like what gives now? Like why is she so much more desirable than last time? So I kind of want to make this video talking about how Honkai Tarel kind of redeemed Topaz. Well, before that, if you like what you see wanna give me a like and hit the sub button because i really want to hit 800 subs so badly so come on help our brother out please okay that's enough begging <laughs> okay so when topa came out she came out 1.4 on the second half she was paired up with jing lu and around that time is where a lot of power creep was happening because for we had so much very desirable characters we had dps characters being leagues ahead of the older characters you had characters like fusha and legit making you unkillable and legit the bar just keep racing higher and higher and then Topaz came out and I wouldn't say she had a bad PR but more like what she offers wasn't really needed or like didn't really help that much because for one she can buff all attacks while also acting like this sub DPS as well with her own personal damage and at the time they really there were kind of a few problems because for one the character she buffed up with a follow attack being genuine Himiko Herta but was not like genuine Topaz is actually a pretty solid buff because for one buffing follow attacks and Topaz personal damage can really add up like the character she can buff up is pretty good but the problem is the character she buffed up at the time but a character that not exactly the most powerful or like broken compared to like the meta picks and she kind of got overshadowed by the other characters due to the fact that she kind of was missing like so much stuff like she didn't have a four piece set at the time the character she buffed up wasn't anything crazy because they were kind of mid and if you compare Toba to like the other character before she being like Fu Shun in Bible to an A, Jing Lu, who had broken releases compared to Topaz, who only had like a good release. But to be honest, I think a lot of people skip out on Topaz because for one, I think they were just broke from pulling Jing Lu. <laughs> but hey, at least Topaz had a really good technique to find treasure chests, save you from looking at the damn interactive map. <laughs> like I feel like the dev were just setting she up for like future content. In the business, we call this foreshadowing. And lo and behold, legit, the next patch after that, 1.5. So fast, finally got a 4-piece relic set that's actually good for her. Being the 4-piece forward set, which is really beneficial because legit, most of the damage come from follow attacks. And this new domain was actually really efficient because for one, while you're farming for the follow-up set for Topaz, you can also find another follow-up set for your, like your DPS that does follow attacks. And if you're using any DOT characters, you can also find a set for them. Nice. And around 1.5 where Jin one also starting to really pick up in popularity as well. Because we also around that time where legit the dev just kept giving Jin one buffs left to right, back to left, what the hell. <laughs> and Topaz and Jin one were actually a really good combo we got as I said before. But it doesn't stop there because legit neck part legit Topaz just peaked. Like the amount of love she got in 1.6 was crazy. But not a direct buff, it's an indirect buff due to the new stuff that got added in 1.6 because in 1.6 we got pure fiction and legit two of the characters you would use in pure fiction that will consider meta is Himiko and Herta due to the fact that they can just clear through hordes and hordes of enemies and both of them does forward attack and legit Topa just buffs them up and just make them go crazy and then at the second half of 1.6 we got <gasps> hmm. yeah, a genius move like ratio being out was so big for Topaz for MOC because since Topaz is like a buffer for follow attack like legit any damage that comes out that does follow attack Topaz will always get value no matter what like when the people that had Topaz were like rejoicing the fact that they can use Topaz with Dr. Ratio and fast forward a bit to when Aventurine came out you can use Topaz, Aventurine and Dr. Ratio legit that is such an amazing team with like a debuffer like Kayla or so legit Topaz legit just keep getting better and better and or it gets better like a dps can always get replaced like everyone knows that by now but for someone like topaz whenever dps comes out that can do full attack topaz value just keep going up and now it get me tempting to just pull on topaz because for one love she's hot and now she just getting better and better like she can be a very worthwhile pull to get especially if you use units that does full attacks like it kind of shows like how far ahead the devs really plan out how the devs want to handle their characters like genshin could never do this <laughs> I just wish the dev never nerfed Topaz's ass. <laughs> I have a question. Why? 
And yeah, that's about it. So with all I said, I think that everything I want to talk about for today's video. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate you for sure. And let me know what I should do next. And let me know what you guys think about what I say. Because I really respond to all my comments. And make sure to follow me on all my social media in the description or the pinned comment. And join my Discord server and be a part of my community. Because it will just make me a happy boy. So just do it for my sake, would you? <laughs> and with all I said, take care. Love you guys. And I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.